Hello guys, uh, here we are back to another FU Money show. I will try to do a quickie today, <laughs> a quickie. Um, um, something, uh, you know, there's not a lot of changes from, from, from yesterday, so um, let's go directly to the charts. Okay, so as usual, we start by the price to time model. Let me just uh, a small note. Uh, some people ask me why or what is this blue area here. So as I said in my previous videos, this is just a speculation. Uh, just uh, I was just uh, playing with the charts. I decided to try to figure out what is, what could be the future if we maintain the patterns that we have already so far since the beginning of times um, to today and some years into the future if we take into consideration the second halvening of bitcoin and the same measures that we had not just for the price action but also for the rectangles uh, so if you have if you if we have that uh, in the future i was just speculating what could be or what could it look like into the future so this is just the blue area is just something i i was uh, playing with the charts don't take that as granted this is pure speculation so let's go uh into the price to time model as we are currently uh, let's see what the price action is doing so let's have a zoom here so right now we are okay with the price to time model we are below the exponential line we had already a correction we um probably we have bottomed here and we are now retracing this weekly candle a bit uh, we didn't get to the uh, half of the candle uh, body yet, but uh, we are in, uh, you know, there's a good uh, feeling that we are going to bottom here, but we can analyze that a bit later uh, in the other charts. So let's move on to the MRI and the oscillators uh, strategy and charts. So we will start with the monthly. The monthly is we gained a bit of a candle body since yesterday. So we went up a bit and we are just on a three of nine candle, uh, green candles, uh, green numbers, sorry. So this is positive. The RSI also is uh, still not neutral but turning neutral at any point now i would say that probably let's check the uh, dates on the bottom here so we are in march so i would say by the end of april or april or end of april beginning of may maybe the rsi is going horizontally and that could um, um, that could be a sign that this exuberance in the price action is over, and probably we could rise to the top in a more sustainable and healthy manner. So let's go to the weekly. So I guess we are back in the base of the triangle, or almost there. We are fighting for that position there. We are still far away from the trend lines and very distant from the 20 period uh, moving average. So, you know, we still have some space for downside. It doesn't mean that we are going um, to lower prices, but we still have that space even in a bullish market. So I would say that the weekly chart looks good so far. We had this retracement yesterday then we went up almost half the candle again uh, however the volume the volume looks to be decreasing a lot which is not very good um, that's not just a divergence with the rsi weekly but also with the volume um, let's see let's see what this what this brings us so the rsi is still below the threshold here of the 70 the uh, 70.0 the MACD 
is turning a bit bearish on the weekly however we are still in green territory and the uh, Fisher distance from the EMA is approaching the zero line which is the completely neutral position so um, not very much else to say about the weekly chart let's go to the daily so yes so we have a nice bounce here from the 50 period moving average which is the yellow line uh, that looks good we are again reaching the bottom of the triangle i believe that we could be rejected around this area this is uh, uh, this was support previously now has become resistance so i would say that maybe we could still see some downside action and probably some sideways action and then we could maybe go for uh, a new uptrend uh, at least in the short term uptrend as you can see you the volume is decreasing which is not very good for the bullish case the rsi however has turned up and is now on the verge of becoming bullish if we just cross the 50 line which is exactly where we are so let me let me show you that this uh, dashed line this is the 50 which is exactly the middle so if we cross that line to the upside the rsi becomes a bit bullish again which is not not bad at all um here in the daily we are still on a six of nine red count so you know if the mri works properly we should have at least a seven eight and nine numbers to the downside but probably we could still maintain the count even if you go to the base of the triangle we have one or two more candles to the downside and still maintain the count to a new nine which could be around here which would be my maximum for a price drop and then start a new count to the upside uh, so the RSI we discussed already, the volume also decreasing, that's discussed already. We have the MACD uh, somewhat going horizontal, so this is not bad also. It means that this, um, this uh, bearish MACD could be turning bullish sometime soon. In, and the, the Fisher distance from the EMA is also turning back up in the direction of the zero line so that's also a very good sign let's check the four hour chart so this is our triangle here much bigger uh, we as you can see this is amazing when i drew this triangle look so the candle touched exactly the bottom of the triangle and it was rejected a bit so we went down a bit there's a wick there uh, let me just move this so you can see the wick yeah the wick is exactly on top of the red line and we got rejected so it means this triangle is working properly it's now resistance to the upside so the price was rejected and we might see some kind of down in the short term we could see some down price action uh, so let's see what happens. This is the four hour, so it's really short term. I don't believe that we are going much lower than we went already. However, there's still a probability that we could go lower if something extraordinary happens. The RSI is also in the middle, exactly in the middle position here. The MACD is turning bullish in the short term as compared to the previous chart, which was the daily. Uh, the funding rate at BitMEX is uh, not knowing what to do if we go positive, if we go negative, so it's really low, close to zero, um, so it's a very uncertain time. Um, this is the market sentiment for me, one of the important market sentiments. Uh, also, the, the oscillator down here is the Fisher distance from the AMA is also uh, passing already the zero going up so it means in the short term we are bullish and let's see what happens with the base of the triangle um, 
so let's just go to the one hour chart quickly just to check the bitmax funding rate uh so yeah so i would say that the bitmax funding rate is completely neutral right now uh, we don't have any indication that the market wants to go up or down at least for the leveraged positions at bitmax and as you can see this was uh, on the one hour chart we have the 100 period moving average coming down crossing the bottom of the triangle right now so there are two things uh rejecting the price now it's the base of the triangle and the 100 period moving average at the same time at the same position um let's zoom in for you guys to see it better so you can see the crossing of the triangle here now this week went exactly to the bottom of the triangle also the 100 period moving average coming here and going down so that's that's a very nice resistance we have there so it will not be easy to cross it um oops sorry what do i do here okay so the rsi in the one hour is bullish the macd is also turning bullish and completely neutral uh fisher distance from the ema so let's quickly go to the pro indicators i don't want to make this video a very big one like we had on uh, the other day let me just point out that we possibly have a fourth range boundary so everything is looking good in that uh, sense i guess uh, my prediction on the if you watched the previous video the episode 11 i believe if i'm not mistaken it was in episode 11 i said we were around here uh we were just discussing the <laughs> elon musk tweet that um triggered this uh, move up however the next candle was a shooting star and then we went down and i was recording the video exactly when the shooting star was forming i said that it would be very very probable that we go to this area the first interest area for me uh around the four the fifty one thousand dollars we actually went to 50 and 500 and it was a very very good prediction on my side on my part and i'm very happy for that because i was telling you guys not to buy there because this was not going up i also wrote a tweet on the other day respectfully disagreeing with my uh, dear bud tone vase uh he of course has his opinion he's very um, very experienced trader but sometimes uh you know i also had my uh, opinion and in this case we had different opinions he was completely bullish by then i was uh writing that i don't believe this retracement is over and so here it is we went to the fifty thousand and five hundred, actually below that fifty thousand four hundred something um and then we reverse the price action to the upside so i believe that there's still a probability we could go down however the probability of going to the 47 area is now very uh small as compared to forming a fourth range boundary around here and this reversal could take us up at least to the three uh, to the third range boundary level price level and if we break the third range boundary price level uh if there's a breakout which i already uh identified by this orange dashed line if we have a breakout of this price level i will be very very bullish we could be starting a new uptrend that could take us to the 70s low 70s and that would mean around 10 twelve thousand dollars more for the value of one bitcoin so that would be very good uh, so we saw that in the mri we are being rejected by the base of the triangle also here in the um, oscillators of the pro indicator the momentum and the sine wave we are reaching a high level for the sine wave 
the momentum is already crossed the middle of the chart so we are also going up we might be on the verge of turning a bit down here for the sine wave which could mean some kind of small retracement we could retest this blue level line here around 53,000 and if we cross the 53,000 uh, or the 52 and 500 uh, to the downside the small probability of going back to 47, 48 or 50 uh, is still on the table however I believe that probability is very low and we could you know if we break this um, this resistance at that we are right now the 53,000 54,000 if we break it to the upside I believe Bitcoin will be touching the third range boundary level very soon so that is my understanding of the charts right now let me just uh, stop the screen share okay so uh, this is my analysis for today I hope you have enjoyed it uh, it's a very short one as I said in the beginning of the video this would be just a quickie and nothing is really different uh, except this uh, probability of a reversal of the price towards the uh, third range boundary level uh, since yesterday so it's not a big change I just wanted to give you guys uh, an update on the price action so if you enjoyed this content uh, smash the like button subscribe to the channel to the channel if you haven't uh, done it yet and share with your friends and i'll see you probably tomorrow on the next one bye bye